Same day, same hour, next trip. But I don't know why. It's our nice, clean little town. Well, it certainly isn't your charming women. Looking for that letter of your old man in person. It's three weeks yesterday. Long time for a man supposed to show up, or at least right. Well, I know, but. Hey, meet J.C. J.C.? Grayson, and that's Horn. How you been, boy? Fine. Oh, you look good. You do, too. Yeah, come on, let's go.
a fine horse you're riding there, son. Who bought it for you? I did. You're having a full price? Yeah. Saddle, tack, and new set of shoes thrown into boot. Yeah, your ma was a good horse trader, too. She proved that when she got rid of me. She, uh... Does she have any last words? No. No, not that I heard. She died pretty hard. Hey, you live hard, die hard. That's what most of us come to. I suppose you know there was no love lost. Never has been. Yeah, I'll say one thing. Your ma was a fine woman. Looks like she did all right with you, too. Nineteen, huh? Yeah. J.C., I told you he'd be fit to ride with. Bound to, Deke. He's your son, ain't he? Took a hell of a chance circling back for the kid instead of heading for the river. Ah, shut up. Come on, let's go. Got for more than a week. Now it's close. There it is, only thing moving. You mean that dust out there? I think it's him. It's him. Well, who is it? Honor, the best in the business. Might as well wise you up. There's a bounty on our heads, and he aims to collect it. this time and all the tracks we've made. Deke, you ever heard of him giving up before? He's human. He's got to make a mistake someplace. We'll spread out. You two stick with me. We're going to run for it. Run for it? Five of us from one man? From that man. Way he cut. No, Deeks, that big rifle of his outranges anything we got. He can pick us off one at a time. Come on, we gotta get across that river before we're all bunched up again. Bodies. 
before some critter comes down in the night. He rode his head on purpose. It's best to leave bait on the back trail. Now we'll find out if he's as good a man as they say he is. Come on. Is any. No way in from the river without being seen. Give me a gun, Pa. You don't need a gun. I got a right to defend myself. Make the same start I did? I got no choice. If I belong, I stick. If you belong, you do as I say. You take those horses to cover and keep them quiet. When the shooting stops, if I don't call you, you light out and don't look back. What about you and J.C.? We won't need you. Well, what do I do? You grow. Every man has to on his own. Get out of here before the trouble starts. to tell you, Deeks. Kid's all right. Much better than I handed in for. We could have kept him with us. I've seen my share of men die. Both have. Never bothered me. My own kid? as they fall, huh? Fellow like that's got a pretty good thing going, don't he? It's a living. You know, I never rightly figured how much we're worth. 3,000 for you, 5,000 for me. Kind of makes us a success, don't it? Not yet. We're not dead.
mistakes. Nah. I never did have a kid that I know of. Men don't have kids. Only women. Seems I did hear that someplace. Dead or alive? Say welcome, can I, Santine? Nope. Tried to stay clear of you. Well, there comes a time, Deeks. Yeah, I guess so. Who's the boy? It's my son. Uh -huh. I need the horses. Call him in. Let him be. Like you let those kids be on the street in front of the Lawrenceville Bank? I only picked him up this afternoon. I know. I want to do well for that boy. Sure. Call him in. Damn it, Santee, he's my kid. Don't you understand? He is no part of me. You call him in or I go after him. I got to. Move. Jody! Bring in two horses. All right, if you're going to be obstinate, bring in three. Do as he says, son. All right, Pa. While you're about it, bring in mine. Drop it, boy. I've already talked too much. Fine. Now, maybe you'll live a little while longer. Long enough to get you. Come along and see to their rights. They'll get a preacher and a prayer and a pine box. All at county expenses, if it means anything to you.
Make yourself warm. your luck, old friend. No, oh, no, not yet. I mean, not really. <laughs> what are you going to do with that kid, Jody Deeks? Let be, if he will. Six-inch rattler is just as deadly as a six-footer, and he sure don't like you. Well, he's got good cause, you know. I could lock him up a few days. No, just mm. just no, no, no. no. Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Is a problem he's got to solve by himself. One way or another. Suit yourself. Um, would you like a little, um... Yes. I sure will. <laughs> you know, both of us are getting kind of old. <laughs> and that grab oh, wait a minute, minute, wait a minute. You speak for yourself now, Stu. <laughs> you got any idea how long it's been since no. you hung up that badge? Yeah, it's been uh, as long as you've been wearing yours, Dave. Uh -huh. I'm giving it up. Come next election. Politics? Nope. What? I'm going to run a little cattle, hunt a little, fish. Good. And swap lives. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Why not, eh? It's time you did the same thing. Not yet. Damn it all, Santee. How much longer? It's all in your head. Oh, I know. I was just thinking of Val. Yeah, so was I. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about her in the past few days. 
it's time to go home. That's more like it. Now, how much longer? You know, you're crazy to keep going off leaving her like that. Isn't that account square by now? I don't keep the books. Take care. Yeah. You want to saddle my horse for me? That make you big? Bigger, anyway. Big enough? For now. I can wait. Where'd you get the money for that? They're horses. I figured I was entitled. Well, now you know their next to kin might not agree with you. If they had any. But still, at least it's not blood money. Walk in front of me, boy. What's the matter, you afraid? Oh, just careful, that's all. You know, did you, uh, did you ever read any one of these uh, wanted posters? Yeah. No, I mean, really read it. Mm hmm Even the highest price ones say dead or alive, you know. But you don't give them that chance, do you? Like your father, huh? Well, that's just what I'm going to give you when the time's right. No chance. Now, you're right in part. Your father didn't have a chance. But you know, he had a choice. You see, I bring them in alive whenever I can. It's up to them. And even a coward would rather die with his boots on than be dragged up before a hangman. And your father was no coward. But, uh, you know, now I have to make a choice. I can't have you behind me. No, I have to have you right there in front of me where I can see you. You get behind me, and I'll leave you very far behind. Very far. Dead? Yeah, if it comes to that. Here you go. Sorry I was light-fingered, but I wanted to be sure of a little peace and quiet while I was washing up. It's clean country from here on, so a man's got to kind of... Well, kind of adjust to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good for his soul. God, what happened to you? Ordinarily, I don't say. I want to know what tore you up like that. Well, I guess you have a right. You know something? There's a time when I was the sheriff of this whole county, all around here. You? 
An elected peace officer? Yeah, how about that? Ten years, ten good years. Sure, those scars you have look like it. Yeah, well, then you know what happened? A wolf pack came through, kind like your, uh, your pa ran with. Well, I knew better, but they, uh, well, you know, they kind of minded their own business, and I, I let them be. But they called me out one night at supper, put five slugs in me before I hit the ground. Oh, I know they didn't mean to, you know, make it permanent, but they, they did mean to cripple me up good. So the first chance I got, I turned my badge over to my best friend and took up the hunt. Been on it ever since. County sheriff, he can't traipse all over Hills Half Acre for a wanted man. They haven't got the time. They haven't got the authority. And after all, who'd mind the store when they were gone? So that's the work of a professional hunter. Yeah. Well, that's the way you tell it. Yeah. That's right. We're just going to sit here all day? Nope. You know, you make it sound like your job isn't finished. Neither's mine. Uh -huh. That's your decision. But there'll be some new rules. I'm heading home. Home? Yeah. Oh, you're welcome to tag along if you like. But I want to tell you something. Nobody there talks about what I do when I'm gone. You understand? See, I'm not looking for anybody, and nobody's looking for me. It's my other life. But nobody interferes. Nobody. All right. Not at your house. Good enough. This is Jody Deeks. Take care of him. It's done. Welcome home. Thank you. Pony. Who is that? This is Santee. Welcome to Three Arrows, Jody Deeks. Thank you. I'm John Crow. Howdy. Now you won't see either one of them again until that midday or better tomorrow. Never fails. Even when he's been gone only a few days. <laughs> Come on, we'll find you a bunk and a nail to hang your hat on.
And it gets worse. It gets worse. My grandfather said that in the old days, the best ponies in the Indian nations came from right in here. Yeah. The grass and wild hay. It's fair country for people, too. Yeah, we do thrive. That's a fact. You know, I never saw such good lines on working stock. Time and work and money and a lot of it. One more generation of breeding stock, and we'll have about the best quarter horse train in the country. Santee built this all up himself, huh? Man can with outside work. Yeah, or a fast gun. Well, it takes all kinds. It sure does. John! Jody! Well, that's what I call sleeping in. You sure you're rested? Well, no, not really. Come in and have a cup of coffee. Jody Deeks. Jody, this is my wife. It's a pleasure, Mrs. Hattie. Call me Valerie, Jody. We're pretty much one big family around here, especially when Sam is home. <laughs> well, hey, how'd you like some original home-brewed coffee, huh? Fine, thank you. You gotta sit down here. It's all right, you can leave that on. Oh, I promise, not here. My wife and I have been talking it over, and if uh, John Crow agrees, you can consider this your home for as long as you like. You make a hand. He will. Good. All right, then it's settled. To the three arrows. Coffee? No, thanks. Your bed. Hello. Oh, you know, meaning to ask you about this thing. You know, you and you and the Santees always talk about three arrows, but the brand and everything around the ranch has only two. Why is that? I figured you'd get around to that sometime. Uh, that ought to hold. I'd like to get some fresh air. Sure. Two pairs. Two pairs. Seen Santee's scars? Yeah. Big ones inside. Doesn't show. But the hurt is still there. About the ranch. They started buying land around here soon after he was elected sheriff. Set me out to start putting in improvements and picking up stock. There were three of them then. That's why they called it the Three Arrows. 
one for each. Santee, Valerie, and the boy. Nearly ten. Big youngster. A hell of a horseman, even then. He loved that boy. They lived behind the office in jail like Stu Carter does now. It happened the night the Banner Gang called Santee out. out to me. We buried him here. Santee didn't know for weeks. Valerie didn't tell him until she had to. Like to kill him all over again. San has always felt that if he had sent the Banner Gang on its way, when they first showed up in town, his boy would be alive today. He blames himself. And he lives with that. When he can't, he's got to go off and fight it in his own way. That's why he turned his badge over to Stu Carter. That's what turned him hunter. That's why they still call it Three Arrows. But only two on the gateposts, the doors, and the stock brand. Getting late. No, not right now. Night.
said, you idiot. We'll never get out of the house. I've been out. so dull out on the flats. God didn't have any colors left. He used them all up here. Uh. What was that? You know? I think so. I'm afraid you're not good enough yet if you still got ideas. No, not anymore, honest. Well, you gave me a few bad minutes there when I saw that gun with him. Well, it's just that you really don't need another hand, even if John Crow says you do. And, uh, well, I can't go on living off the two of you like I have been. So if I'm going to stay, I'm going to have to find something else to do. And I, I thought maybe if I worked a little on my own in private that you... Well, maybe you take me out with you next time you go and show me some of the ropes. Yeah, I might just do that. Come on, Mrs. Santee. We got a lot of more country to look at. Jody, I want to tell you something. No two men are ever alike. No two men ever do anything exactly the same way. Walk in your own footprints. Don't follow someone else's.
understand. Do you want that boy to learn to live the kind of life you must live when you're away from here? Well, he's got more forgiving in him than most, but he's got a lot of hate left, too. I don't know a better way to get rid of it, if that's what he wants. But how can he tell if he's never known anything else? I want him to stay, Sam. I don't want either one of you ever to go out again. Maybe we can pick up where we left off. Have you ever thought of that? No, I've thought of it. Yeah, I've, I've thought of it. I'm just never going to get it, that's oh, all. You're going to get it, but right now, don't try to be so fast. Try to be accurate, you understand? But just, just, Jody, you got to just take it easy now. Don't, don't just speed this. Just speed. All right, now, let's try it again now. Real easy now. Relax your arm. Go ahead. Those uh, three cans up there had been men, they'd be alive and you'd be dead. Oh, and another thing. Never, I'm telling you, Jody, never get into a showdown face-to-face -face fight if you can help it. That's no good. And never fire an, un, an unnamed shot. I mean, I get another chance. All right, let's try it again. All right. Now, real easy now this time. Real easy. Never thought I'd live to see two men who could do that. I do. You remember Jody Deeks here? I'll never forget him now. Hello, Sheriff. How are you doing well here? That's not so damn far to come for some of Val's good cooking, is it? Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Yeah, I got your horse here. Thanks. What do you mean, the old days? No, no, here's to here and now, you know. Hunting, fishing, swapping lies. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> How much longer? 29 days. Well, I had a couple count the votes where the new man is. Uh, where are you going, pal? Russell some eggs. Stu's entitled to a cake. Stu is entitled to anything he wants. Uh, within reason. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, when you're out there, tell Jody that I'd like him to join us for dinner. Well, that's every night this week. Well, it's a special occasion. Stu here, he's leaving first thing in the morning. Come oh, on, sit down, Stu. Hey, you know... You have no idea what's happened to that boy in this past uh, eight months. You just have no idea. I kind of got the idea from what I saw out there a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. Fast. You know, he's developing a real good eye for horse flesh, too. You know, that's good. Well, credit the teacher more than the pupil. Isn't that what your folks used to say, yeah? Oh, well. <laughs> I'm glad we have a few moments in private, Sam. Why? Well, I don't want to alarm Val. I know how she feels. What do you got then? Well, these wanted posters come into the office less than two weeks apart. The first one was from Allendale County and then from Redmond, adding to the reward. Looks like they're coming this way again. Likely heading for the border. Take a look. No, oh, it's, it's not that I don't appreciate being asked so often. It's just that you don't have to, you know? The invitation is Sam's. Oh? Well, thank you anyway, but Sheriff Carter's an old friend. I don't want to intrude. I don't think you understand, Jody. You don't realize the difference your presence has made in San. No, this is the longest he's been home. Has he resigned as sheriff? And you're responsible for that. 
Not really. Filled a big hole in his life. <laughs> Both our lives. Well, being here means a lot to me, too, you know. San has a very strong feeling for you. You've become very important to him. And you? I have a strong feeling, too, Jody. Because of what you've done for Sam. Because he's very important to me, too. That's a difference, isn't it? Yeah, that's a difference. Well, tell him I'll be right over as soon as I wash up and change my shirt, all right? The new faces have joined them. The rest are older. And they've changed their names. The way of working is still the same. Yeah. It's the old banner bunch, all right. You've waited a long time for them to show up again. I thought you'd want to know. No, Stu, that's finally over. It's been too long. Besides, I've got too much to lose here. You're not going out again? Nope. No wonder Valerie was so happy this time around. Well, I haven't told her yet. No, you don't spoil the surprise, you hear? Not on your life.
Morning, Freddy. Morning, Sheriff. Have a cup of coffee. I don't mind if I do. This town is slower at waking up than an old hound dog. <laughs> an old hound dog sleeping in the sun. <laughs> Count your blessings, Freddy. That's the way I like it. Nice and quiet. Mm. Gonna seem mighty strange around here with, with somebody else behind that badge. You'll get used to it. Bunch of men coming up. Public street. I don't like their looks, Stu. Huh? Hold it, Banner. Right there. All of you... You're sure it was the banner bunch again, huh? Everybody in town seen them playing. Well, you've gone far to your way. I'm very much obliged. Stu was a friend of yours, and I thought you should know. Thanks. Won't you stay and take supper with us? Thank you, no, ma'am, but I'd better be on my way. I should have gone back with him, pal. I should have gone back with him. You know something? I think he came here to the ranch to ask me that. Did he? No, no. Did he mention that he needed your help? No, no, he just uh, thought they were taking a shortcut to the border. And... Well, Sam, if he didn't know where they were going, or what they were going to do, then... Look, I won't have you blaming yourself all over again. Oh, come again. on, Val, please, now, come on. Huh? Well, I know what to do. And what does a fuzzy-faced boy like you know what a man's supposed to do? Huh? What do you know about it? That won't bring him back. Nothing will. God knows I've had enough years to learn that. Well, you can't just stand there. Don't you realize they're the same ones that killed your son? It's something you've got to do. Don't you tell me my guts, boy. Well, somebody better, because you've forgotten who you are. I'll get the horses. Wait a minute. Now, you just wait a minute. Last night, I, uh, I, I made a promise. And I'm going to keep it. I, uh, I promised that I wouldn't leave the Three Arrows unless it was on ranch business. Well, then you've wasted a lot of time. Because you've taught me all wrong.
was a hard thing to do. It was a hard thing to say now. You meant it. You'll keep your promise. Have I ever broken a promise to you, Val? Have I ever? No. But I've waited a long time for it, Sam. Oh, it's your due. Like you heard his pride. Jody? Jody's pride? What has he got to do with it? I mean his personal pride. I mean his pride in you. Well, it doesn't do no harm for a man to be hurt once in a while. Come in. You sent for me? No, I sent for Jody. Where is he? Oh, maybe you didn't hear what I said. I asked you, where is Jody? Where'd you be if you were as young as he is? I don't know. Where would I be? This much start. Maybe halfway down the other side, Mulehead Pass. Oh, no. He's going it alone. Well, how about that? John, are you sure? With him, could be no other way. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. John, you got work to do now. Come on now. This ranch can't run by itself. range. This time there, you're not going to get a choice. I'd have had it, wouldn't I? Hey, get some. souls well they ain't coming up for air that's what banner we've been here too long 
Well, there's some things men just don't like to rush. What do I have to do to convince you that we left a string of posters behind us one mile long? And when they start catching up, somebody's going to recognize us. That's for damn sure. Look, better the deal was we wouldn't stop even to split the tape until after we crossed the border. Isn't that right? Well, we haven't and we won't. Now, you, you can count on that. Relax, Lance. So little fun don't hurt. Fine! Go oh, on, Lance. We got this coming. No, no, no. See, that's, that's taking chances. We don't have to. Anner, explain it to me. What has this place got that we can't get more of and better and a damn sight better than that in Mexico? Tell me that. Nothing. Not a blessed thing. But it's not just me going. You could have slowed me up some with that one. Could have done more than that if you'd been trailing me. I know it was careless, but it's uh, it's hard track, and I let it take all my attention for a minute. I'm sorry, but uh, at least I still got all six of them ahead of me. Well, that's where they're going to stay, the way you're going about it. Way far ahead of you. I'm listening. Well, the Banner Bunch has his pockets full of money. Any man fresh with money, the first thing he he wants is a woman. Any woman. Now, where would a woman be between here and the border? How would I know? Yeah, come to think of it, you wouldn't, would you? Some things I didn't get around to teaching you. Well, there's some things a fella rather handle on his own, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's a place just shy of the border. It's, um, one of those, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's called the Mecca. I think that's where they are. Well, let's go. You know, Banner's taking the easy way, so if you're up to some hard riding, we can cut off a few miles. I want it over. Well, so do I. I'm glad you showed up. Do you think I wouldn't? You shut up. Yeah, that's it. The work's all right. Plus what you stashed away before you brought it down. Maybe. All you had to do was ask nice. You know something, partner? You hit trouble, you're gonna wish you were still with us. Like you said, maybe, but that's better than waiting around for it to catch up with me here, ain't it? Busy, honey? Let's go. Anybody else for the border? Not me. I got some unfinished business. Yeah, me too. We got to see you in this box. Well, not tonight. I want to get the feel of this first. Hey, amen to that. I tell you what, split a farewell bottle with you. All right. Neil, I'll buy it. Three, the rest are upstairs. Make the first shot count, Jody.